The gender pay gap has been a huge topic of conversation in recent years. Juliet Foster went to Armstrong International to find out how they service some of the world's leading financial organisations with senior level hiring and inclusivity. The city, London's financial district, is a leading international business hub, rivaling the likes of New York and Hong Kong in the battle for global dominance. It's also a key player in the UK economy, contributing £49.2 billion in 2016 to the national income. That's 2.8% of output. Yet, for all its success, the city and financial services in general are falling short on gender diversity. 61% of employees in the City of London are men, compared to 39% who are women, with 75% aged between 25 and 49. While a survey by the Financial Conduct Authority found that out of 9,957 partners at private hedge funds, equity firms and other financial services companies, only 14% are women. So, how do you change that? How do you persuade employers to bring more women into their organisations to create a workplace that is gender diverse? You start by identifying the reasons for the imbalance. Armstrong International, a leading city executive search firm with a 50-50 gender split, says women often drop out of finance after starting a family because of problems balancing motherhood with a demanding job. Although most firms offer flexible working, women are often reluctant to take it in case it makes them look weak. A macho office culture doesn't help either. When you hear people talk about a deal, there's always a war analogy attached to it. And if I was a woman, that would not appeal to me. So I think the cultural side of the city has historically been quite male orientated and women have had to put up with that. And I think that culture needs to change. It needs to be much, much more inclusive. And that goes down to language. It goes, it's not just behavior, it's, it's, it's everything. Armstrong International is part of the 30% Club, an initiative that campaigns for greater female representation on the boards of FTSE 100 listed companies. It's also signed up to the Diversity Project, which works with businesses to prioritise and fulfil all aspects of inclusion over a five-year time frame. We're not going to dictate how things should be done, but actually by working with individuals within these firms and through the network that the Diversity Project presents and creates, that we could maybe just do our little bit to help change the industry and make it a more diverse and, and a more representative of the, the general population. Unconscious bias, where bosses recruit people from a similar background to their own, is another barrier to diversity. Playing it safe might seem like a good idea, but in the long term it can potentially shortchange a business. A 2013 survey found that hedge funds run by women were more successful than those run by men every year over a six-year period. So, gender diversity isn't just profitable, but having more women in senior roles sends out a positive message. That needs to be done because it will attract future generations, females, to get into this industry. But it needs to be done step in time with, from a graduate recruitment perspective to make sure they're hiring a diverse talent of people into those roles that can be aspired and they see senior women in this role today that they can work towards. I think that's a, a big issue at the moment when fe female graduates are joining financial organisations. So, for the financial services industry, the challenge is to give women a reason for staying. And if enough companies aren't doing that, then taking the initiative is the answer. So my advice as a headhunter is always connect. Take the call when it comes in for the pure purpose of creating your own network. Because what men are excellent with is creating networks that they fall upon on. We don't. Create your own networks, use what's there, diversity clubs, private equity, and as a management, so many have been created. Find your own colleagues that are female, reach out to them, have your own um, support network, and take the call when it comes. Because even if it's not the right mandate, we then know about you, we know what makes you tick, and we come back with something that's suitable. It's empowering. Mm -hmm.